playing could be more than just a fun activity for children. It could be a healthy one, too. Dr. Malika Marshall explains why it could also be critical for their development. Four-year-old Britton Taunty Rigby is getting her yearly checkup. Everything looks good. After her exam, her pediatrician writes a prescription for something he says is important. It reads, play every day. People tend to think, oh, play, you know, that's just a waste of time. Well, it's not a waste of time. A new report from the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends all pediatricians do the same, saying play with parents and peers is a critical part of healthy development, fundamental for learning life skills and reducing stress. Play is really brain building because it has all kinds of effects on brain structure and function. Executive function skills of learning to persist on a task, of learning to solve problems, of learning to be flexible about how they're learning things. It's how we learn, not what we learn. Dr. Michael Yogman authored the report, which shows playtime has decreased significantly in the past 15 years, while screen time has increased, and about 30% of kindergarten children don't go out for recess. There's a whole section of our report that talks about the importance of play in preschool settings and how important it is to find a balance of playful learning with a more, you know, traditional curricula. Play can also strengthen the relationship between parent and child, something this mother of four says is important for her family. So we do a lot of outdoor play and at home the kids, we have tons of Duplos and trains and trucks. What are your favorite things to play with at home or at school? Um, blocks. Embracing all the learning that happens when you're having fun. Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS News, Cambridge.